Why was there so much criticism surrounding the uh, initiative to uh, rectify the power that the High Court in Israel retained? Um, it's a good question. You should ask the people who were uh, so, so much against, but I think that um, in, some, in some way uh, many people um, were looking at, the, at the, what happened in the last year in light of the judicial reform, when in reality it, I think it was more about the government. Um, we had five elections in three years. Um, we had a division in the public in Israel that has nothing to do with the judicial reform. And in a matter of fact, I believe that uh, um, a judicial reform um, that um, would be proposed and was proposed by members of the opposition would be accepted just uh, um, um, with, with, without any uh, um, objection. And the reason is um, because it, it was an, a, a major, it was a key, the keystone of this coalition and all the people who were against this coalition were, f were going against it just because um, the way it was offered through this coalition. Um, on the merits of the issues, today we know that the vast majority of the public in Israel supports a judicial reform. There is small debates on certain issues, but the the, and, and even the major changes are, are, are basically a consensus. Were there uh, U.S. funded oppositions to Israel doing it? Um, I know we, know, we know for a fact that some organizations that were um, um, participating in the demonstration are funded by the U.S. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's no secret. Um, and by and many organizations that were involved are funded heavily funded by the EU, and also were involved involved in the demonstrations. Um, sadly, in Israel, um, um, a lot of foreign governments' money is invested in uh, in um, this destabilizing of the state of Israel, and that's that's a shame. Uh, do you feel that the attacks? on October 7th might have been uh, an initiative to try to also to continue to destabilize the uh, Likud coalition? Um, I think that uh, the attacks on October 7th was the doing of Hamas. They were planning for it for years. Um, I don't think, um, I, um, of course, we can talk about um, certain measures that the State of Israel could have taken and the world could have taken against Hamas, against UNRWA um, over the years. But I don't think, uh, I think that's, uh, that's the way to look at it. Some people try to uh, pinpoint and, 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 and to say, this guy is to be blamed, this guy is to be blamed. I think we need to bl focus the blame on Hamas. They were working on it since 2012 and maybe even before. And we can ask why Ichir Sinwar was released from prison in the first place and, and ask uh, um, that's uh, uh, a question, but that's a question for 2011. I see. Is there some connection between the groups that organized the protests then and those who are pushing the uh, 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 hostage release at any cost today? I think any, peop any people, any, any group of people that uh, basically make an ultimate demand of any kind and says we want this to happen now and we don't, we don't care about the costs are basically destabilizing the state of Israel. And it can be a lot of, a lot of issues um, um, that this demand might rise. It can, it can um, but, and, and we know that some people are involved in the same protests, but I think that uh, that was a mistake from the, 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 um, those protesters' side, because the issue of the hostages are not an issue that is um, an argument in Israel. We are all 100% behind the release of the hostages. We want to do the best and that it will be happen, that it will happen as fast as possible. Mm -hmm. and, and there might be a debate on what exactly is the way to do it, but most of it is being done behind closed doors because of the secrecy of the situation. So um, we won't let people who are working to make the division in the state of Israel succeed. Are you still a parliamentarian? Yes. From which party? Religious Zionism. Okay. Uh, do you think that the press is trying to play a role, uh, uh, advocacy, to try and destabilize this uh, coalition? Uh, I think the press uh, is working uh, all the time to, to uh, create uh, 
uh, destabilization of the society in Israel. It's not even about the coalition. Which um, press? Which press? The press in Israel and the press in the U.S. And the, but it's the press. One one major major issues with the press is they are looking for division since October seventh. In my committee, um, we passed more than 50, 50 legislation, different legislations, and it was almost all of them unanimous vote. There is no report on the press on this because if there is no fight, there is no press. And uh, I think that's something um, inherited in the, uh, the process of making media in the world today. And I think that's not a good way to spend your time. How do you feel about after uh, October 7th? One last question. Yes. After October 7th, uh, and what we've seen from the Palestinians, the U.S. pushing uh, to uh, establish a, a Palestinian state to carve out territories that are uh, critical to Israeli security. Um, we, I just came and here after a vote in the Knesset. 99 Knesset members voted, coalition and opposition together, against uh, anyone who tries to force Palestinian state unilaterally. Especially now, it would be a reward for terror. The entire public of the of the Israelis and the entire Israel society is united against this idea. And anyone who calls himself a friend of Israel should refrain from trying to enforce um, a Palestinian state on the state of Israel now and forever. Thank you.